those that are coming in love and light, high vibes, benevolent energies, greetings, welcome. Thank you for joining and stopping by here on TikTok Live. This is a general collective oracle slash tarot reading for the collective of you that's wanting to know with this full moon energy, those of you who know you have dealt with a lot of bullshit. So we're going to get, this is going to be a different kind of reading, okay? We're going to get some yes and no's answered with this deck, okay? For those of you that are asking, are they planning to do some weird nigga bitch shit? <laughs> Whether this is ritual work, manipulation, lies, tricks, theft. Whatever that means, okay? Asking, are they up to some weird nigga bitch shit? Okay? Today, tomorrow, are they planning on something? Wait, hold on, I gotta turn this down. Sorry, so we're gonna get the yes and the no from here. Then if it's a yes, of course, for some of you, we're gonna get what it is they're planning. And then at the end, with one deck, we're gonna get just some basic guidance for the high vibers in terms of what your advice is. But it's going to be very general and basic. And I'm going to invite you guys to self-interpret that part as to what that's going to mean for you, how you're to proceed. Okay? All right. Let me turn down my gong show in the back, right? <laughs> Hold on. The gong show. That used to be an old school... Um, old school show. Some of you may be too young. <laughs> But I remember I wanted to go on the gong show, bitch. Anyway, <laughs> the gong show. Like if you were if you were sucky, then you know you get gonged. <laughs> Anyways, all right, ancestors, back up the support, previous intentions I set prior to coming on camera. Amplify the love and the light for the high vibe tribers. Those that are truly divinely guided, this reading, this portal, this platform. Instant ricochet. Whatever people come in here with, that is what they shall receive unto themselves. Instant ricochet. Instant buffers. For myself, the High Vibe Collective, neutrality, amplify, judgment to be instantly called on any and everyone coming in here with hidden dishonor and ill will and intentions towards me, towards my son, towards what I do here, as well as the high vibe collective that I read for. Instant karmic ramification on all playing fields, all timelines, all realities, all lifetimes, all directions of time and space in every area, every world, and every place. So let it be now. Instant. Instant. Secret societies, instant. Those who feel like they're untouchable, instant. May they feel it, may they know it. <laughs> may they know. That it's eye for an eye. This is the way low vibrationals understand. They don't understand any other way. So may they know. They don't understand any other way, so may they know. They look at love and light and grace as a weakness, as something to be exploited. So may they know. May they feel it. And may everyone see it. Especially Extra judgment, ancestors and light team for people that try to pose as light ones. People that hide in arenas, covering as a cover-up. Yet do fucked up shit. Especially them. I want them. <laughs> and that's divine feminine. That's the higher selves. That's the ancestors. Amplify protection for the special needs community, or should I say differently able? Amplify retribution for those who take advantage of these communities and populations 
amplify their karmic ramification instantly. And in every area that matters to them perspectively, because they're all different. So whatever counts, whatever gets their attention so that they can know there is a penalty that will be paid for tampering with innocent lives that can't speak up or stand up or defend themselves in the physical. So let them know, like a surprise, they're going to pay for every bit, bitch, of energy harvesting, tampering, torturing, harassing, any of these special populations. I ask for extra love, light, and for some high-ranking officers on the ground, as well as the ethers to amp up their game and step up and handle some business. Let's make this shit right. Can't afford to be cowardly in 2023. Let's make this shit right. So for those of you who are asking, are they planning to do some fuck shit today or with this uh, full moon? Here's your answer. It says, yeah. All right. Are they planning, on behalf of the High Vibe Collective that's asking about the weird nigga bitch energies? <laughs> their strategies, if they're planning some negative fuck shit. Are they planning, whoever these people are that's still alive, of course. Are they planning They don't want us to know. Now look at this. Yeah, and there's a yes. First it said yeah. Now it says yes. So, so far, are they planning? Ancestors, help me out. Can I get five? So we can discover the pattern. Can I get five? Are they planning? Yeah. They don't want y'all to know. There it is. Boom. Okay, here's a no. For some of you, but let's see. We're going to get five. We're going to get five cards out to see what the pattern is. Okay, for some of you, it may be a no, okay, it may be, because they may all be dead, or people that learned their lessons, or suffering, or some shit, or don't have access, or, you know, ask me closer to the time, so for some of you, um, tap in with your guys, maybe tomorrow, because maybe something is currently shifting in their energy, Maybe they won't shit. Maybe they won't be here. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> okay, certainly for some of you, certainly just popped out. All right, so I have certainly. I have no, and I have sure. Okay, so so far out of three, we got two positives and one negative. And then I got by no means. Interesting. Let's get one more. This is going to be the make or the break. Because it's still saying, ask me closer to time. So, boom, bitch. It should, maybe they're trying to get their dollars together. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Or their utensils, bitch. Their tools. Shit. You know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe somebody... Oh, let me let that go. Because I got, hmm, yes, right behind it. I don't know. If I get one more ancestors? There it Boom, bitch. Ask again. Okay, see, this is that energy. If something is hinging upon, find your own answer, ask again. Something is hinging in the air for some of you. But it's a mixed bag, okay? Woo! Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I got find your own answer, ask again, no, certainly, sure. See that mixed energy? So something is just, um, look, as soon as I said that, y'all, check it. This is not so. Whoever sent the love and the flower, thank you. It says, I hadn't even looked at the bottom yet. I was like, something's hinging, right? Then I looked at the bottom. I was like, what the hell? It says, answer unsure. 
ask again. See, something is hinging on something, okay? Whether this be they're looking, they could be trying to figure out how. They could be trying to get the resources. Somebody may be not well. Somebody may croak. Somebody, it could be a man. Yeah. So, anyway, let's keep it pushing status. Because I ain't understanding. Let's keep pushing. You heard? So, so far we have, it's hinging. Okay. So, let's see what they would want to do. What's like the plan? Something's in the air. I don't know if they're trying to see if their other rituals work yet first. Okay. Uh, shit. If they're trying to figure out, did somebody die yet, bitch? Like, <laughs> the fuck? Weird. Anyway. Okay. Carry up, team. Let me hear it. I ain't trying to be here all day. God damn it. I'm in another mode. All right. This is a general collective oracle tarot reading for those of you who resonate with. Those of you who are asking, are they planning some weird nigga bitch shit? Especially with this moon energy, right? Triggers. They're being triggered right now. They could be planning to trigger you. Ooh, they could be... Oh. They could be planning to do something. So, boom, bitch. We finna get into this, this shit right here. You heard? So, for some of you, they may they may just try to do something to trigger you. If they, if they can't do anything else, maybe that's why it's hinging. Because maybe they don't have... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Let's see. I want to see why it says, um, ask again. Let's see. Find your own. Let's see. With this hinging energy, why is find your own answer and ask again here pertain to whether or not these people are planning some weird nigga bitch shit on the high vibe collective? Why is that here? Ask again. Find your own answer. Oh, it's hinging on a breakup, long-term commitment here. Coming in the reverse. It's hinging on a breakup. Oh boy. Somebody's avoiding someone. It says running, avoiding, commitment in the reverse. Could be that they're trying to find out whether or not since there was a breakup and somebody could be being avoided, they could be, be trying to find out if somebody got with someone else so that they can do their shit, right? So they they could be researched. <laughs> why, why is commitment here in the reverse? It's crazy. Okay. I have remin recalling in the reverse. Yeah. Okay. So for a couple of you, this could be pertaining to some of y'all's out there that recently broke up with people, okay? And maybe they're trying to figure out a way to trigger you all in some kind of way here, okay? Maybe they're having a hard time finding something online because I have online in the reverse. Oh, so that's fine. are going to try to do something to ensure those that are going to do ritual work they're going to try to do something to ensure that you guys don't get a commitment or a long term relationship they're trying to do something where you guys have um, a negative energy about relationships or someone from the past since this says recalling they could so they're going to try to oh boy yeah so they're going to try to be triggering counterparts right now. Okay. Those are on twin flame journeys, especially, but they're, they may be trying to, um, yeah. Since now we're getting to the part where we're asking about what are they going to do? They can, yeah, they're trying to break some shit up. They're trying to ensure they're trying to block somebody here. Bear with me, guys, since this is a different reading. Now, let's isolate, certainly ensure. 
why is Sir Lee Shore here? To answer the question, what would, what it would, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what are they going to plan? What are they planning? The weird nigga bitch shit? Trash. Oh, shit. I have trash, discarding, throwing out. What are they planning? Project it. Future days, weeks, months. Karmic third party lesson here. So for those of you that are discarding people, they're trying to do something here on your plans because like somebody threw somebody out. Oh boy. They could be trying, like I said, for some of you, if y'all broke up with people, they're trying to do some shit to where... Either they're trying to cause you to get triggered or you to trigger one another to look at each other like trash or some shit like that. And it's a karmic that's doing it. Okay. So they're planning something. So they probably going to be doing some weird nigga bitch shit. Could have been somebody in Vegas, bitch. Just got take a gamble. <laughs> they could be trying to scare some of you all to not confess something. It could be old. Ooh, since this is right here, it could be hinged upon ooh, that's why they don't know what to do yet, because they don't know yet. That's why it's in the air. They don't know. They're trying to find out if somebody told somebody something. And that's going to determine what they do. So it's not even a matter of if, it's what. Maybe that's why it's in the air. It's what? Okay. Oh, that's, man. Okay. Wow. Future days, weeks, months. Certainly sure. For some of you, if you're in limbo with breaking up somebody, breaking up with somebody or ending something with some people, then it's hinging, okay? They may be aware that this is what you're doing, even if they're not saying it, okay? Because if they're weird nigga bitches, they do weird nigga bitch shit, they be using shit to know shit so they can do their shit, okay? So even if you're not saying it, they know, okay? So it's what they're going to do is hinging on something, okay? If, which you guys have already decided, somebody has already decided to discard something here. So if that's the case, or this was done in the past, I have today in the reverse, then they're going to try to um, get vengeance on your money or prove something that you, that you did for money. So they may try to trigger you or threaten you with, if you do this, then I'm going to show the proof that you took money to do something to somebody or, yeah, tragedy, forbidden love. Could have been something to do with online because I have connected coming out in the reverse. What they did to try to like take somebody's internet or shit. Social media, bitch. So some of them are planning to, depending on y'all's actions, it's going to determine what they do. They're going to do something either way. They are planning weird nigga bitch shit anyway. But it just depends which weird nigga bitch shit are they going to do. Oh, well, well, well. Anything else, team? Boom. We supposed to get the load out. You heard? Just hang on in there. What else these motherfuckers? You sons of bitches. Let's see. Okay, crossing, trash, projected, gossip. Oh, I told you. See, look it. I told you. Man, ancestors, thank you. I told you. I knew it. I knew it, bitch. You heard? I knew it. So, they gonna tell. Okay, they already run their mouth. I just want to put this on notice for y'all if you don't know already. They already doing it anyway. But they're, they 
are planning to gossip because they're petty and jealous and envious. Okay? So they're planning to run their mouth about some kind of a codependent situation, how they lured you in or some shit or, or somebody here, okay? That, uh-huh, ascension in the reverse, okay? Yeah. So this is more of the sabotage energy or the, the extortion, blackmail type of energy. Okay, so if somebody fully goes through with discarding as it looks like somebody has already decided it, it's certain. It says certainly and sure. So if this is done, then they're going to gossip. They're going to try to like trash you or somebody you're thinking of. Okay, so we got to rise above that because these are low lives. Okay, keep, I'm just going to keep it on the real. I don't care what kind of outfits they wear. Essentially, these be people mad because you decide or someone that you're thinking of decides to not be bothered with them anymore. That's how this shit works. Okay. Ooh, child. Uh -uh. Let's see what this no is. What are they planning? Financial support, child, alimony, government. They could be planning to uh, restrict or try to restrict somebody's money, um, threaten to, yeah, hold somebody's money. Yeah, this love affair. Yeah, boom. Here it is. Boom. Boom, bitch. It's like silence money. If you don't, yeah, <laughs> this is some crazy shit. So they're basically going to, if somebody... Cut them off and we'll be both. They're going to either try to take them to the bank or expose the truth about this dirty little secret here. Okay. What they did for money. This could be somebody going to expose what somebody did for money as well. Okay. Like let's say somebody in the past did some shit for money. Okay. This ain't the, the judgment zone, but this is just... People who maybe did it in secret and didn't, didn't want nobody to know. Yep, here's a karmic soulmate. Somebody is threatening to say something or tell something. Um, this could also be like financial curses, lust rituals. Yeah, drama queen. Yeah. Basically, they planning to try to start some drama. Because some of you guys are done with these people. I have the past happened in the reverse. You're done with the drama queen. So, y'all done. Somebody's done with trying to help or support these drama queens. Or they didn't want people to support a divine feminine. Or they were a fake ass uh, wannabe with this in the reverse. Ooh. Yep, look, Paul's just hit the floor. Paul's timing factor. So they're going to try to figure out a way. What they're planning is trying to figure out a way to stall you guys out or somebody that you're thinking of, okay? So that they can keep getting money. Um, so they're trying to hit your money. Some of you guys, this is blackmail. By no means. Because some of you, like I said, somebody could have got tired of dealing with these people with this no energy. I don't want to fuck you and I don't want money from you and I'm not giving you any money. So they're going to try to commence some shit because somebody don't want to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody don't want to do it no more. Desperate. By no means. Locked, closed, in, trapped, frustrated. Okay, because so somebody, <laughs> they're going to try to restrict you. Okay, some of them may try to physically attack you. Okay, so use your wisdom. Okay. They could try to like scare tactics here to get you trapped and frustrated. 
they could be feeling trapped and frustrated because somebody says by no means. So now they're trying to figure out a way to punk and scare and bully people. Yeah, because they don't want to be embarrassed or some shit like that. Threatening to embarrass somebody. Shit, fuck it. We got to get the don't care frequency, bitch. When You know what I'm saying? Boom, bitch. These be people that's trying to keep you there with them. When you're trying to heal and grow on and ascend, people try to extortion, right? This is why we have to get the I don't give a fuck energy. Because when you're changing, you're changing. You're going to be supported and backed. So you kind of have to rise above the low lights, okay? I know it's not that easy all the time, but otherwise they'll keep playing these games with you to make you feel like you don't have a choice, and you do. You do. So just know that they're planning to, yeah, here, yeah, told you, here's the proofs. Told you, told you. Somebody, okay, another thing is somebody else, they don't want some kind of proofs out about them. Okay, so they're trying to do everything they can to block some kind of proof. Okay, or they're trying to make people stay stuck in marriages here. I have irreconcilable differences, divorce. Maybe they're trying to hide the fact that there has been a divorce or they're um, threatening a person to not tell that there's been a divorce or somebody who want a divorce. <laughs> it's like, if you divorce me, my fuckers, okay? If you do not give, have sex with me, insatiable desires, okay? Somebody that, that who child, that don't want nothing to do with them no more, offer on the table, reverse, karmic soulmate, reverse here. They're gonna try to get somebody locked up or something here. Trapped in some kind of way. Okay. So just be aware. This is so y'all will know. Right. Because we're asking now about what they're planning. Because they are. They're planning weird nigga bitch shit. Okay. And it's all in the air contingent on different things happening. But they are certainly. Because they're trying to make sure. Some people are trying to cover up affairs. They're trying to hide proofs of marriages, divorces. What people did for money, some shit people said, all sorts of shits. Okay. So they're doing, their plan is to do whatever it takes to, in some cases, to try to stop people from coming together. It's always attack on twin flame journeys or just those of light being types of energies. Okay. So what else are they planning? We finna make this fast. Boom, bitch. And then we're gonna get the final guidances. We're gonna use some of my cards too. This is where it's supposed to get good. Hey, now I can feel the butt cheeks clenching. Okay, now I can feel it. It's like, yeah. I can hear it. I can feel it. Wet, butt cheeks. Tight, clank, clank. Like, oh shit, man. Yo, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Well, well, well. What do we have? Message of concern. Coffin in the reverse, false person, wealthy man, community in the reverse, thief, main man. So they're still, they're concerned because they haven't been successful at killing somebody. Something is not changing. They're planning to still try to, why is that here? No love affair, financial support. So what I told you, toil and labor in the reverse. So this is spell work, manipulation. They're trying to, um, yeah, 
lust rituals. They're trying to ensure something doesn't work for the High Vibe Collective. They could be trying to work against something. They can still be coming against some of you all's work with this toil and labor. It's also an energy of these are people who didn't want to have to le do legit shit on their own with integrity. So, yeah, they, yeah, as soon as I said that, they just wanted to um, sit up and get privileges that are not rightfully theirs. So, <laughs> they're planning to somehow attempt to attack someone's finances, okay? Yeah. Whether this is your work, what you do, your ability to work. So I highly, you know, we'll get to the recommendations later before I go there. We'll get there because I was supposed to say, boom, bitch, this is what I said. <laughs> boom, you don't want to get hurt. They want to fuck with you. Yeah, make me cry. Mm -hmm. A child in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it came out. It came out. Coffin. Coffin is out. What somebody did for money. Poverty in the reverse. They could be either threatening to tell like all of the people that was involved. See, this is what people get. See this? See, uh huh. That's butt cheeks clenching. This is what people get. This, I'm sorry. It's like, because see, now there's an energy of everybody's going to go down. Whoever these people are, this is, this is the energy. Like, okay, everybody's going to go down then. So whoever was in the know of it, participating with it, whatever this was, whoever participated in hiding it, whoever was hired, like somebody is threatening to expose that too. Like, well, everybody's going down then. Everybody's involved and there's going to be no, nobody safe. So... <laughs> yeah, because these motherfuckers did all this shit for money. They did something to a child. They knew something about shit. Uh, they were trying to stop somebody from being able to develop. All sorts of shit. For some of you where I said that the answer is no. And this is going to be, I'm telling y'all, that's a small percentage. I have to just admit it. That's a small percentage that they not planning some weird nigga bitch shit. Okay, but for those of you where the answer is actually they're not, okay, some, some of them are doing, um, trying to do reversals, okay, some of them that has got enough capacities within themselves to connect the dots that what they're doing is hurting them, their family, their children, their projects, their, you know what I'm saying, those that have kind of like, Gained their faculties and connected the dots like, bam, bitch. Every time I involve with this or participate with this or do this, but within a week, something is happening. So I'm not doing that and I'm going to attempt to reverse it. Okay? That's some. Small percent. And I mean super small. Because most people don't get the capacities. Most people have to self-destruct they destroy themselves they destroy their families they destroy everything they built trying to do fucked up shit to other people especially fucking with people's kids and innocent lives so they destroy their own homes their own families and their own health and well-being and they don't get it and some people will do anything for money so this could be a group of people that you know <laughs> Everybody's going down. Because everybody tried to play innocent and, and motherfuckers was involved and, and or they knew. Which is equally guilt. It's guilt. Okay, because you don't get you don't get off on no technicality and you sit your ass somewhere, you know what I'm saying, quiet and didn't do nothing. You don't get off. <laughs> Ooh, child. So some people think some to try to like, come on, bitch. Uh-uh-uh. Over here with gossip and trash. What are they planning? 
gossip and trash. What are they planning, these people? Occupation in the reverse, yeah. They're still talking about what y'all do for work or trying to come against your work. I have child coming out in the reverse. Community in the reverse. Why is child coming out in reverse? They better get it together. You heard. It's going to hurt this time. Unexpected income in the reverse. Yeah. They're planning to do something. I'm telling you guys, with some of y'all's money, there's some money. Maybe some of you are owed some kind of money. Or your children. It could have been, oh my God, Distant Horizon. Could be planning to, some of you, trash, projected gossip. They could be trying to interrupt your plans. They could be trying to, yeah, stop your plans, stop your ships from coming in. Or lying about it with this gossip, petty, jealous energy here, lying their asses off what they're good at. They could be wanting to get near you, but they can't. Don't worry, we're going to get some more. We're going to get tarot and my deck. It's going to get good. Just hang on. By no means. Proof. Lockbox. What are these people planning? They're trying. I told you guys, though, they're trying to do something with the finances. It's going to always be this when you're dealing with karmic energies, by the way. You guys are going to start to see a trend. Most of the things you're going to find in these readings is going to always to do with lust, power, money, properties, um, that kind of shit. And they, they'll reduce themselves to some pretty low-level shit for it. Okay? And um, when this is challenged or threatened, then they usually, when that's taken away, then their plan is going to always to be somehow attacked. Okay, so just be aware of that and then take necessary precautions. Like I said, we'll get the guidance in the end. As always, it's classic story time after time, over and over again. That's what you guys are hearing in readings over and over again. For me and other people, just told in different ways. Okay, it's always this. It's always lust, power, a needing to win at all costs, money. All, it's always that. You're going to always see it. Always, always, always. Mm -mm -mm. Poverty. Yep. They could be threatening to take somebody to the bank. Yeah. Or showing what someone did for money. Like I said, official person. Could be an official person. Yeah, thief. Yeah, official person could have been involved in the theft. And somebody is threatening to provide the proof that an official person was involved with stealing something. And so they're planning to do that. But the High Vibe Collective, whoever you are, if you were stolen from, you know that the official person was involved. Isn't it funny how all these people are running around with like a chicken with their head cut off, not understanding that you know? Fascinating. You know that your whole it was a whole community. You know that it was your family. You know that it was so-called religious groups. You know that it was spiritual groups. You know that it was full-fledged karmic communities that were behind stealing from you and your children as mature woman. And here it is, family room. You already knew that they stole a gift they pretended they were false. They thought somebody was a wealthy man or some kind of wealthy man involved or what they perceived. Some kind of gift could be you collective. Something could have been left to you by family, divine feminine. Okay? And these toxic motherfuckers that saying 
spiritual hymns and shit, bitch. Yeah. You already know. But they're threatening somebody like they're gonna tell or some shit. Why is Thief here? And they're planning to steal, steal. They're still steal, steal, right? They're thieves. They're thieves with nice outfits, okay? Accept it. They're thieves who know how to play like they're not thieves. They're thieves who know how to play spiritual, okay? They're thieves who know how to play like they're clean. Yeah, message of concern. Courtship in the reverse. Yeah, they're concerned about some kind of breakup. They're still trying to figure out a way how to break people up or if they think you're going towards somebody, they're trying to figure out a way to um, like threaten you to not do it or to make sure it doesn't happen or some shit. This is why we got to get courage. Because here's the, yeah, adjudication in reverse. So they're planning some more unfair shit to try to fuck with somebody's journey. They're still going to be trying to do mental shit with thoughts here and entrapment. They're going to try to fuck with somebody's head. They're going to try to trigger somebody. Okay? This is why we have to rise above. When you rise above this right here with this proof, then you disempower them. Okay? And I'm just sharing this part for free. Because essentially, you know, some of us got histories with some of these toxics. And we know who we are and we know what we've done. So if you don't overcome that, this is the thing that they will always have, okay, to you. So you have, we have to get to a place to be like, okay, that's the threat. Do it. And see what happens. You got to be okay with, you know, shit coming out, whether this is, you know, putting your shit out there. If they attempt to come harm somebody, I'm going to tell you right now, if they dealing with divine feminine and hers, it's going to be met with a surprise. Okay? Let's just put it like that. Okay? But in terms of you know, um, exposing like, ooh, we going to, ooh, we going to tell everybody. Look them dead in the eye or whatever, however you feel comfortable. And say, do it. And watch what happens. Because now you're taking the power back. Okay? Like, go and do it. Because see, let me, oh, thank you, ancestors. Because see, let me tell y'all, so I'm here to game, bitch. For most of these people, let me tell you on a real. They not going to do it because it would mean exposing themselves. And these types, these types. Believe it or not, they fear, they're overly concerned about their reputation maybe more than you are about yours. So, though they in your face and could be threatening to expose, believe you me, because they're implicated. So, they can't do shit without putting their own dirt out. Anybody with any discernment and real wisdom is going to be like, how the fuck you know? You was involved in some way, shape, form, or fashion because otherwise, how do you know? <laughs> so, so check. Just understand that these are tactics. Most of these people ain't going to do it because they're going to be implicated and their fake-ass pristine persona is going to be shattered. And they fear that more than anything. Okay? That was free. This is all free, but that was some extra status. Because this is a power play. This is what toxic types do when they have something over your head. Okay? When they don't want you to liberate yourself and free yourself. And they want you stuck with them. And they want to still play these weird nigga bitch games. It's a power play. So whatever they know about your indiscretions. They're going to remind you about that. To keep you in check. Okay. Now we all start to see yet why it's important for us to heal and like face the music and do shit because you start 
as you're doing this, it's not just to do. It's like you're healing yourself. You're clearing your soul first and foremost. But then you're also taking back your power from allowing people to be able to dictate and control you and, and you know what I'm saying? You know, I can't make this out. I can't do it, bitch. Okay? You take back the power of people being able to do that to you because you've had the kahanas to say, okay, this is going to hurt and this is going to be painful, but I'm going to heal and face the music because these motherfuckers ain't going to have no power with me. Nah, no more motherfucker. You are I'm done. <laughs> Watch. You don't, you don't have to believe me. Try it. Try it. Test it for yourself. Okay, I have marriage in the reverse. Yeah, here we go. Great fortune. They could be threatening. Here's the karmic. Here. <laughs> High honor house. Main female reverse. Great fortune. Marriage reverse. Mm -hmm. They could be trying to make sure you guys don't marry somebody threatening to take your fortune. If you do the right thing with this high honor and house, it could be something pertaining to a house. Okay. So they could be planning to. Yeah. Especially with that divorce energy for those of you that that applies to. Okay. Despair. Coming out in the reverse official person so they're trying to make sure they're going to try to make sure you guys don't heal something with an official person it's what they're trying to do it's what they're planning they want to keep you questioning it unsure um they're trying to stall out something as long as they can uh yeah some of them may lie and say they're pregnant with this expectation and imprisonment next to each other. Um, if not pregnant, just doing something to um, entrap you in some kind of way. If there are any of you that did anything illegal, they very they may, you know, I can't can give y'all legal advice here, but I'm just saying, y'all out there, y'all know what you've done, you know what you've been a part of. Um, but see, this is why we must heal and face the music again, because it's like when you decide to heal and change, you, you know, you got to face the music. It's like, you be like, okay, fuck it. I, okay. Yup. I did. I did this. I did that. I did that. But you ain't gonna have power over me no more. Do it. So fuck it. I, you ain't though. I will face what I got to face and I'm done with your whole ass. <laughs> You not gonna have power over me no more. So if it means I gotta face some kind of music because I was dilly dallying and doing weird nigga bitch shit, then so it is, right? But that's what they're planning. They're trying to like interfere. Some of them may try to act like they want to make things work as a strategy, pretending like okay. Let's make this work. I'm going to make you happy to make you doubt what you already know because they know something about wealth being connected to you. Even if you ain't got $2 today, it says wealthy man and shit. <laughs> yeah, adjudication in the reverse. They're trying to keep you on a karmic. Some of these people want you stuck on some kind of karmic journey with them they don't want you to get off we are supposed to be here learning the lessons and getting 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 the fuck on you heard but these people want to fuck with your journey and keep you in some kind of unfair karmic cycle and path with them okay they find it to be concerning that you're changing for somebody out there it's concerning to them it says the message of concern change okay it's concerning to them. And so since this is concerning them that you're changing, they strategizing. Okay? Tell you right now. The whole community. Somebody could be trying to act like they didn't know something. Y'all always going to have some of them. Like when the karma started hitting 
hard because it's gonna knock on everybody's door, bitch. Because it knows who all the people perspective my fuckers was, bitch. So it's knocking on all doors, okay. And so when this shit start going down, boom, bitch. There's gonna be some people that's gonna try to be saying right here, ask again, or like they're gonna play like dumb bitch. <laughs> What? I, I didn't even... Uh, 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 I didn't know anything about this lying. Yeah, they're false. They may even be trying to say, like, they're going to, like, provide some kind of proof that if an official person was in their sleep state or low vibration when they were dealing with these motherfuckers, they're basically saying that they're going to spill the beans of whatever nasty shit the person could have said while they were dealing with the, the low lives. Okay? It's a strategy. This is why we have to overcome it. It'll paralyze you. Yeah. I'm gonna tell, yeah, let me see. What else? Can I get a couple more over here and then we're gonna get to my next page? Main female and reverse. Here's the karmic. That's going to Looney Tunes. Thoughts in the reverse, imprisonment. They may try to play dumb and they're still trying to get somebody stuck and trapped. They're still trying to crazy make. Some people are trying to plan to crazy make, triangulate a situation. A lunatic energy could be threatening. So this is another reason why we must get educated too. You guys hear me always say, do your due diligence. You know, in terms of like legal, like all of it. When you know you have dealt with a lot of toxic, karmic -y, weirdy energies, it serves you to do, to wisen up on every plane, from the earth to the ethers. It serves you to expand your awareness, okay, um, become more mindful and present, and take the necessary precautions as, I mean, to the degree in which you can, okay, when you're dealing with these types, okay. Yeah, concerned, lovers, mature woman. They're concerned about some, a man possibly getting with this mature woman and because of something to do with a house. They, they weren't about something with a house. And whatever she did for work or some shit coming in. Yeah. But these are the people who sing hymns. When are we going to wake up? hymns, they go to Reiki circles, they talk about mental health, yeah. His or her addictions to destroying divine feminine and divine masculine is literally, did I say that? Literally destroying his or her own life. So, they're still up to trying to destroy, okay? It says here, since karmics are fakes and frauds, they project and assume that a divine feminine or masculine is. So for some of you, they're trying to discredit divine feminine. They're going to keep doing it, which she don't care because she ain't got nothing to prove and the shit going to always unfold accordingly. But they're going to keep trying to smear campaign, whatever divine feminine does. They're going to keep trying to say... She's a fake and a fraud because they're fake and a fraud. Because that's how they operate. Because that's the only way they know how to, to be. This is how they've managed to get, if they got anything, this is how they've managed to do it. If they're in a similar field as her, they lacked integrity. And that's how they was able to do what they did. And they assume that because that's what they're about, then Feminine and masculine have to be. So they're going to keep trying to come against somebody's work. They're going to keep trying to say somebody's fake. 
essentially projecting their energy. That's what they're doing. Matrix blue pill, willful blindness. Yeah. These people are blind. Straight up. They're going to keep trying to, that's like the two of swords energy. They're going to keep trying to blind people to the truth about who they are and what they do. They're going to keep trying to confuse people and create illusions. And they're going to keep trying to project that a divine feminine or masculine is blind. And they themselves are blind. You're blind if you're calling yourself something in any religious bent or spirituality, yet conduct in the ways in which you do. That's what blindness is, because that is a contradiction. That's blind. When we don't hold the frequency and integrity in benevolence and that in which we say we are. That's blind. It's blind when we think that all we have to do is claim and subscribe to something and that's supposed to make us good. Meanwhile, willfully and intentionally continuing to do fucked up shit to people. That's blind. The people that was refusing to see the truth, I mean, they're in this lot as well because it said willful. So this is the people who see fucked up shit and turn their head because they're cowardly. Let's get some goods. Ancestors, what we got here? What they planning? What they're planning here? What they're planning and essentially how it's going to end up unfolding. <laughs> What's going to happen to the end? <laughs> what are they planning? Let's get some intuitive messages here. Because we already know where this is going. They're going to self-destruct. That doesn't stop them from trying. It doesn't stop them from planning. So but let's just see how this is going to end for them. Let, let's see. Let's just have some fun. So they're going to do it. All right. A karmic man that operates in a karmic feminine energy. So this could be... A, a literal man that act like a karmic, y'all know what, female. That, yeah, they ass. I want them to really get something special. All right, I have Neo effect. Divine masculine is waking up its own. Now, didn't I say it, though? I said it. I said, I'm like, well, they going to do it, but his fence going to be not what they think. Toxic karmic parents are being shamed by the community. Yeah. This could be the gossip. See, this is how this shit is fencing the flip on all of them. Divine feminine is determined to create her best life with or without divine masculine. Justice will be served. Oh, I told y'all. Divine feminine, if you hear, it's going to be one way or the other. People are now defending divine feminine because they see the truth. Yes, eventually. It may take a while. It may take a long while, but some people start catching up. People that are not too discombobulated, you know, too in the haze and the fog of the bullshit. Some people got some sense, okay? Some people do. Some people ain't stuck on labels just because somebody holding a Bible, bitch, and crying, bitch. Like, some people know how to see past all that. Emotional manipulators, yeah. And this is what these people specialized in. This is how they got people caught up with them to begin with. Divine feminine says, I'm sorry. Divine masculine says to divine feminine, I miss everything about you. I didn't appreciate you, so I manifested those who are nothing like you. That was the situation over here. See, the masculine in his low vibration could have got caught up with these people and was trash talking with the low lives, right? 
Divine Feminine is fully aware. Like, people catch up way behind her. She'd be like, they late. They late in the game, bitch. You, oh, you want to call and tell me Divine Masculine was talking trash about me? Yeah, but I kind of already know. I also know what you did to get them there. <laughs> so they ain't telling feminine shit. She already know. Checkmate. Try again. She already know about that. <laughs> I'ma tell he was trash talking. We know he was trash talking. I'ma tell he I'ma tell he said, yeah, I know what he said under your weird nigga bitch spells. We know. Next, let's see. Karmics are being gossiped about. I told y'all this is gonna take a flip. So they're still gossiping and doing all this source of shit. They're not gonna stop that collective. But there's having like this flipped effect. Karmics are now being gossiped about by the ones that once held them in high honor. This is going to continue to happen. Because they're not going to stop. So if that's what y'all are you know, waiting for. Because it's only a small margin. I said it earlier. Only a smidgy. That actually do start to connect the dots and go wait a minute. Every time we do this. Within one week, this is happening to us. Okay? Not many are able to go there. Okay? Divine Feminine knows that weak women are threatened by her and she don't care. Yeah, Divine Feminine is aware of the ringleaders. His or her addictions to, and it came out. See, it literally came out. Their addictions to destroying divine feminine and masculine is destroying them. His or herself, it said. So this is what's going to end up happening. They're planning to destroy you. They're going to destroy themselves. They're still planning. Yes, they are, but they're going to destroy themselves. Okay? Because you guys are working hard to stay positive and keep moving forward. You know these people can't be you. They can get your wig, bitch. They can get your whole outfit, bitch. They can look like you, sound like you, walk like you, pose like you, steal from you. But they will never be you. And this is men or women. Okay? They'll never be you. <laughs> James. Somebody laughing out there. I know somebody laughing. Because of somebody said, I know it. I can tell I feel it. Somebody's laughing like, did she say that? Did she say that, bitch? Did she say go get a wig? Thank you. I did. <laughs> I sure did. That's for the population of wig wearers, okay? But for the ones that aren't wig wearers, then, bitch, then, you know, <laughs> shit. Hairstyle like you, whatever. Mimicking you. Ooh, she's saying this on her platform. I'm going to say that with an extra on it. Ooh, she doing this. And I'm going to put folks. She have a candle, bitch. I'm going to have four candles, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, weird, just weird. Weird. Okay. Same sex friend. See, it's this person over here. I'm going to tell y'all, boom, bitch. I'm going to tell you. This one over here. It says the karmic, the man that operates in karmic feminine. Same sex friend that was crushing on Divine Masculine is secretly trying to sabotage. He so whoever that is is the one. He he was yeah. Yeah. He was the one behind the theft. He could be he could be the one that knew about some shit. So if a masculine is trying to free himself. From this person, this could be like, I'm going to tell. This could be this person saying, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell. And let me just pause free frame on this. Look, y'all, to each his own, right? This, Please know that this is not about, I'm not with that. I'm not about shaming um, sex, your sexuality is your sexuality. It, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that, Okay. And quite frankly, I kind of laughed out of thought because I was like, hmm, today. It just came across my mind. 
Because people try to play on this shit to fuck with you, to make you feel stuck, to make you feel trapped, to make you feel limited or embarrassed or, you, you know, y'all know how humans are. But if, let's say, if your eyes were closed and you didn't know something, let's say you didn't know someone was near you or they got near you in your sleep or they snuck up on you and you didn't know. And if somebody, and please caution what I'm trying to say here. The body is going to respond to stimulus, okay? It, and it does not identify if it is male or female to determine if the body is going to have a response to stimulation. I hope you guys know where I'm going with that, okay? So, it's all of these programmings and cultures and stuff that try to make us feel some kind of way. But I've always said that it's just the integrity of things. It's not so much that somebody is choosing or, or whether you want to say you're a bi. I don't know all the proper term it, terms for stuff, but it's, it's the integrity. Okay, not, not the fact that it's done. It's the integrity. So there could be a situation in this case where somebody is threatening to reveal something. Okay, because they don't want to be bothered with this person anymore. This person could have been involved with stealing from them too as well as you, Divine Feminine. Okay. Huh. This is why we must get over it. Shit, who you, we ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. Most of these people, let me tell you something. There used to be this old saying that the ones who scream loudest is against something usually be the ones who are that very thing that they're screaming loud against. And they're trying to compensate for something because it's not lining up to their beliefs. So this is why we have to get over it and not give a fuck. There's nobody on this earth in a position to say shit. None of them are, okay? So if you're trying to heal and move on and people are trying to drug up your shit, this is why you have to face your shit so you take the power back from them. Because then now what? Okay, they got all of your secrets and you tell them, boom, fuck it. Now what? They have shit. They have nothing. And this is all they've ever had. And once you overcome that, they have nothing. All they can do is continue to sit in their corners and continue to do their weird nigga bitch shit that they've been doing. That's backfiring more and more and more. Okay? I have Patricia and somebody with a P out of the USA across the water. Maybe it's this person is trying to do something across the water or threatening Divine Feminine learns how powerful she is and how to let go. Okay. They fucked up, Feminine. Open-minded, whoever these people are trying to fuck with you. Ooh, child. They finna know. They finna know. Owners and staff of social medias are now being watched because they could have been profiling. So now they're being watched. If they want to keep their shit, they better put that on lock. Divine Masculine to the Karmic Mate number three. Ooh, didn't I say it? Ooh, and now it's coming out. So, boom. It says, your threats won't matter. Didn't I just say it? Your threats won't matter soon because I am choosing to heal and face the music. So, this is what they're going to be met with. They're going to try their shit and they're going to find out. So, I got two badass masculine energies coming out because I have... Over here, the Neo effect, Matrix, Divine Masculine waking up, is on. Boom, bitch. Over here, Masculine in one of their faces, boom, bitch. I don't care. Ooh-wee. Mm -mm -mm. Divine Feminine, look. Oh, shit. Divine Feminine is a bad mother. Shut your mouth, and these people know it. This is what they fencing to find out. As they do, whatever this is. They fencing to meet this energy. Oh. Trying to hide money under someone else's name. 
This might be about to get exposed. Oh, shit. No more games because of this. Ain't no more games. So all because everybody's down. Uh-uh, uh -uh, bitch. <laughs> Divine detour. Running from the truth. Whoever is running, fence to get found out. Atlanta. Edward. Divine Master was scared of this toxic karmic femme fatale. Yeah. And there, yeah, this is the femme fatale right here. Uh, it says main female reverses karmic feminine. And now these people are mad because they can't shake the divine feminine. <laughs> it says they can't shake the divine feminine. She will not be moved. Well, you fuck with her only get her stirred up, bitch. Fucking with her and her children only be amplifiers like, because you, if you can imagine flames coming up out of my hands, <laughs> that's all this shit do. That's what people ain't caught a clue to that. Like, okay, okay, okay. All right, then have it your way, because all this is doing is helping me. This, mm, the raft, the raft of divine feminine, bitch. <laughs> That's what it feels like, the wrath of Divine Feminine. They shouldn't have fucked with you. Ooh. And them, this incessant we already have is destroying them. It says their addictions is destroying them. Their addiction to destroying Divine Feminine and Masculine is literally destroying his or her own life. That's what it says. So with that being said, let's isolate just this one. Because this is going to tell us what's going to happen to these people for whatever this is that they're planning. Okay? And then we'll end it with you guys' is, um, advice. Okay? So we're going to isolate this one card. Because this is, this is the meat and potato here. This is the foundation right here. This is why this is even here. Their addiction. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. What's, what's going to happen to him? Oh, I got the seven of wands. He wants some backfire energy coming out, y'all. I got the seven of wands. He wants y'all got some protection here that they ain't banking on. Child. They ain't banking on it. So this is going to go down. You're, oh, well, I asked about what's going to happen to these people. This is death. Scorpionic energy. Well, I did ask. I asked. I asked. Okay. If their if their addictions is to try to end and destroy you, then we really shouldn't be that surprised that we see it coming out as their ramification. Ace of Wands, King of Pentacles, the reverse, death. Yeah, so some of these people are going to lose their money. Their stability. Um, and some people, some cases, literally, their new beginnings. Yeah, nine of wands reverse. Shit. It's shit. What's going to happen to these people that are in this energy up here towards the high vibe tribe? What's about to happen? What's, what's their end result for their plans, their addictions here? What's the end result for them? Their addictions to destroying divine feminines, the world. It's over. The world, major kind of coming out, it's over. These cycles are closed, it's over. And ooh, ouch. I got the world backed with death. And it said they're destroying themselves. They're destroying their, man. What's going to happen? They about to be burdened and weighted down. Ten of wands. He wants. Look at this fire. 
All the shit they've caused is supposed to be on to them. I got the world. I got ten of wands. Five of swords. Fights. Conflict. Being gossiped about. Talked about. Right? That's communication. Rumors. But this is the shit they did to y'all, collective. Yeah, chariot. What's been gonna happen? What's been gonna happen to these people? Five of cups, burdened. Five of cups, why is this in the reverse? They're under judgment. So some of them are going under depression for being happy to cause burdens and endings for you all here. So they're about to face this judgment. Ancestors was on that one. Major. Yeah. They're afraid, so they're running. They're hiding here. Okay? We're asking about what's about to happen. Some of them are about to secretly go through a divorce with this hierophon in the reverse, learning a lesson from source or ancestors here for what they did in secret, what they did under the moon, what they do with the moon energy. You hear Trying to burden people to cause endings. Taking delight these sadists. These Machiavellian motherfuckers. And it's, it's going to be a tower. I asked what's going to happen to them. This is what's going to happen to them. Here it is. I told y'all this is my favorite tower. They coming out of there. You see them people coming out there? And then home chick on the ground, bitch. Snacks and everything. Got bongs, weed, cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? We got everything. <laughs> everything coming out this way, fucking. Ah! Yeah, Divine Feminine is on the ground already with her ball gown on, bitch. She's like, told y'all, my fuckers. Told you, my fuckers. They want to believe me. You don't want to believe me. Kept trying to interfere and cause me to be stuck here, huh? They want to believe me. Huh? Trying to get me trapped up, huh? Somebody's going to go to jail. Somebody's wife is just, oh, somebody's wife is going to go to jail. Somebody's wife, somebody mama, bitch. is going to go to jail with this queen of pentacles. Somebody's going to go to jail. Literal jail. In some cases, this is spiritual jail, which is almost worse. <laughs> but what they did. <laughs> oh, child. So they're going to be running, hiding. Happening to face their their worst fear, they're gonna they're gonna be forced to face their worst fear for trying to make y'all. Do you see how this is connecting? For trying to cause hell in your life, then this is gonna be their hell. Do y'all see what the card said here? They wanted you hell burdened, pinned to the cross, bitch, burning at the stake, bitch. They wanted you and your children burdened and weighted down. They wanted you tired and exhausted and stressed as they fuck with your kid. You trying to figure this shit out. So now they finna reap it. Queen of Cups in the reverse. They have no love. They're, yeah. People are going to be narcissistic to them. Oh my gosh. I have a King of Swords here. Yeah. About to reap some narcissistic energy. They're not gonna be shown no love, void of love. Ooh -wee. Yeah, they're gonna be exposed. High priestess is in the reverse. So since we're asking about what's gonna happen, so what they're doing is gonna be exposed. This illusion that they kept trying to create around some of you all. This shit that they were hiding from, some of y'all. And this is also representing these practitioners being stripped. They're not going to be able to tap in. Whatever the shit. Yeah, it's going to go to the left. <laughs> They're going to be accidentally casting spells on themselves. Promise. Y'all don't believe me? Watch. That's what's going to happen. They're going to be flipped. This shit is going to turn upside down. So while they're doing, I got the four of pentacles that hit the flow. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, in the reverse. They're going to be losing it. Losing power. Losing control. They're going to be forced to release something. 
okay? They're under investigation. They're being watched. Page of Swords. Like I said, some are going to jail for what they hid, what they stole. Yeah, somebody's fortune. Destiny, will of fortune. Trying to cause blockages. So now they're about to be blocked. They're not going to have any insight as to why. They're going to be confused. And their rituals are going to be going into the reverse. So they're going to be confused. Oh, we. That's why I said that they're destroying themselves. They're going to be confused with their ritual work on purpose. Like they don't know this is on purpose. Like the universe is involved. Ancestors are involved since they're incessant on doing it. Something is fencing to go where they're doing it on themselves. If it was you and your children, unfortunately, then that applies the same. And see, all these people that didn't want to say nothing, I bet you they want to say something now because they're going to be affected. Yep, I told you. They, I told you this is going to be their energy. We're asking about what's going to happen. Nine of swords, sleepless nights, stress, insomnia, fear. Could be taunted by the ancestors. No. they like, no, no. Where are you going? When they go to sleep at night, look, because of what they did. These betrayals, look at. They about to be pinned down. Ooh, look at these swords, y'all. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they about to be pinned down, bitch. All this shit they did to y'all, trying to act like they didn't. All these betrayals they caused, trying to act like they didn't. Yeah, they finna receive that. They finna receive that. And man says, like, where are you going? Wait a minute now. Uh-uh. Come, come here. These three plus people right here. Come, uh-uh, uh-uh. With your spell work, bitch. Remember this, bitch? No, now you, you were selfish. Uh-uh. You tried to, you sacrificed you sacrifice divine ones. Come on. Let's re don't, don't, come on now. Don't act like you don't know what's happening. You sacrifice, you're trying to sacrifice a divine one and their children. So let's stop crying. Stop crying. Ancestors are telling them, stop crying. Stop crying. Because you know what you did. You had no mercy. You had no empathy. You had no compassion. We don't have any. It's time to pay the pipe up. Yep, ten of swords. I told y'all. I said what's going to happen to these people. This is what they did to y'all over and over again, collective. Over. Look at these burdens. Ten, ten. Endings. The world. Ten, ten. Queen of Cups. Reverse. Somebody mama. Baby mama. Somebody. Some, oh, shit. Somebody sister. Auntie now. Mises now. Whoever. Whoever's in this energy. For lacking love, they're receiving that lack of love back. For being unloving, they're receiving some unloving energy back. It's that simple. Ten of Cups reverse, a whole unhappy ass family. They're about to be sad. They lack empathy. They lack compassion. They lack mercy. So your ancestors are like, no. You're obsessed. We done been sitting on your ear for years while you sit on this table and do weird nigga bitch shit. We done been in your ear. We were in your dreams for years talking to you. You better stop this now because this is going to get pretty ugly. And it's not going to be what you think. We done told you. But you're power hungry. You're money hungry and a control freak. You need to be studied. You don't want to stop, so we're going to use what you do. You don't want to stop. You're obsessed with trying to feel like you're winning. You're obsessed. You lack mercy. We don't have any mercy for you. So stop crying. There was no mercy torturing disabled children. There was no mercy torturing divine ones that were trying to wake up and heal. So we ain't trying to hear none, none about none of that. You 
you, in fact, you were sadist. You took delight in watching people suffer and struggle and having it hard. You thought it was something to laugh at. Thought it was cute. Okay, so high vibers. Getting to your advice pertaining to all is, look, it says, Lord, take charge with authority. So you guys are being guided, okay? This, and a part of that is facing off with whatever this was that these people have or maybe had over your heads, okay? For those of you that applies to, you have to take charge and face your music because this is how you disable them, okay? Let them tell. But I'm telling you right now, they're not going to do it because they, they're more scared of it than you are. Final guidance. Traveler. It says move in a new direction. Okay. So you guys are being guided to move in a new direction away from anything to do with this, this toxic shit on the board. You're done. You've closed out cycles with these people with that world energy. Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to move. For some of you, it's literal travel. I see a compass behind her. Moving. Just keep moving forward. Travel in a different direction here. Then I have the high priest. It says intend and create. So this is like a masculine energy here. Be clear, set intention to move away. Okay? And create something different. Disconnect and engage with these people. Okay. Some of you may be being guided to move because I'm asking about what your advice is. Okay. A teacher, learn from spiritual experience. Yeah. Learn. Maybe learn from somebody that was a teacher. Okay. And and move. Just move. I know that's easier said than done, but I can tell you it starts with intentions. And then taking whatever actions you can take. That's how I started. Every move that I've made, it started with me tapping in, tap, connecting with my spirit guides, my higher self, setting those intentions, and then in the practical sense, doing what I could, where I could, and then I, you know, I just continued on, and then eventually I manifested stuff, and um, I accepted any meager means that I had to live because that's a part of the test. It's a part of the journey releasing attachments to things that keep us tied to these types of people okay um and when you release these attachments you're like i'm not trying to impress nobody and when you're able to do that you make a house a home if i haven't learned anything else i promise you i've learned that we make it a home it's not the size it's not all the fanciful shit there's nothing wrong with those things but i can promise you it doesn't make it a home Okay, it don't make it a home. I know many people who have all that shit and it's like a museum. It's chaotic, it's stress, it's dead. You know what I'm saying? You can't sleep good, you don't feel comfortable, bitch. Like, the point of it is that doesn't make it a home. It's about the heart of the people in it and the energy that they put into making it a warm and friendly environment, even if it's a fucking shoebox. Okay, why can I say that? Because I was in a shoebox and it was what I made of it. And I'd rather be there where I was any day than being in a big ass house full of snakes. Okay, traveler. So I have Oracle in the reverse. So some of you, you're being guided to no longer wait. There's no more information that you need. Some of you are being guided to move on. Yeah. Shield made and make plans and focus. So move in a new direction, make plans and focus. Okay. Trust in the unknown is here. Okay, because this may be scary. Okay, the new beginning, unknown territory, but trust. Some people are afraid of transformation. It says, snake, shed your old skin. 
This was the resistance here. These people aren't going to change. They don't want you to change. They want you to stay snaky the way they are. Okay. Anything else, um, ancestors, for the high vibers? Any other guidance? Self-interpret for them? Anything else? One more for foundation. Can I get one more? Angel of support. Spirit Fox, trust your talents. Yeah, in the changing times. Yeah, trust yourself. Trust it. The only way you can do it is by doing it. Right? You've got this. We've got this. Okay? Move in a new direction. Make some plans and focus. Trust in this unknown. And trust that you're, you're challenged in these changing times with this process. Okay? And I can certainly attest. I know it's not easy. Every time I've uprooted myself in any kind of way, any time I've made decisions to cut people off or to, to move far and do all these things, boy, I can tell y'all, it's like shaking and shit. It's like, man, what the, man. On top of having my son, so I know what it feels like to feel that pressure. But I don't regret it because I believe that in some cases, I saved my life and my son's life by, you know what I'm saying, getting us away from snaky, sharky people that meant us no good. And even though I had to start from scratch or have humble means, it was well worth it than to continue to live in the land of crazy land and fakes, okay, people plotting against me and my child, stealing from me and my child, trying to sacrifice us like we're at a, a junkyard, like some pickup parts, bitch, in our own blood. Yeah. There's a special place for those types. Okay? So I know it's hard, but y'all got this. Okay? Take your power back. When you heal and get the I don't give a fuck frequency about people so-called exposing your secrets, they no longer have power over you. And I can guarantee you, they may use that but most of them don't want the secrets told because most of them are overly concerned as they always have been with their image.